Good afternoon everyone. How are you all doing? I hope you're okay. And I promise I'll get this camera right one day. So, to all the 342 family members, greetings to you all. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. It's brilliant. I hope you've had a good day. My day's been fine. Absolutely fine. And now, we're going to do another taste test. And today, brothers and sisters, we're trying this. A hand-cooked lamb karai from Mumtaz. Remove sleeve, pierce film lit several times, place on a non-metallic place in microwave on full power for two and a half minutes. Stir, put the film back on and do it for another two minutes. Stand for a minute, but I've done it in the oven. Where you remove the sleeve, pierce the film lit several times, place on a tray, 190 for 15 minutes. Take care when removing the film lid, there's a hot steam may escape and it did. And I burnt my fingers. The ingredients of this are marinated lamb, 33%, onion, tomato, rapeseed oil, water, lamb stock, tomato puree, garlic, mumtab, mumtaz herbs and spices, contains mustard, ginger, salt, coriander leaf, ground coriander, sugar and green chilli. Mumtaz quality. This product should reach you in perfect condition. If it does not, please return this pack with barcode and the use by date in tax stating when and where it was bought. And we will be glad to refund the purchase price and the postage fees. This guarantee does not affect your statutory rights. There's the nutritional information. If anyone's interested in stopping the video to read it, it's 100% natural, it's gluten free, and it's a medium spice. Now back when I was a younger man, about 200 years ago, uh, the Mumtaz Pan House was in Bradford and I believe it was on Horton Road. And it was legendary. It really was one of the finest places you could possibly go. Uh, to get a curry. Bradford curries are amazing. If you've never had a Bradford curry, give it a go. Seriously. They may have moved. This is from Mumtas Foods PLC in Legrams Lane in Bradford. But I know the Mumtas Pan House used to be on Great Horton Road or Horton Road. But that's many moons ago. Anyway, folks, there it is in my dish. You know, I'm sure you can be able to see it. I don't want to tip it too far and spill it. But that's it. That's the lamb curry. So, it's piping hot. So we'll give it a go, eh? We'll try a, a piece of lamb first. And there's the lamb. So here goes, folks. It's succulent, tender. It's cooked absolutely perfectly. The spice is very evident, even though it's medium. And there's the sauce. That's really nice. The flavour is perfect. The texture of everything is perfect. There's nothing at all in here not to like at the moment. We'll see how it goes. 
and another piece of lamb there. As you can see, it's a beautiful, rich colour, and, and the flavour is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. It really is beautiful. I used to go over to Bradford quite often. Never actually made it to the pan house. Beautiful. I really can't say any further than that. This is beautiful. I saw this as I was walking around uh, Morrison's yesterday and I thought I've got to get, got to have a go at that. They had quite a few other uh, things there but they were all chicken and as a lot of you know I'm not particularly keen on chicken. All that piece of lamb which I've just thrown away. But yeah, that is absolutely amazing. It's four pound, which is, you know, it's on the expensive side. But it's worth every penny for the quality that you're getting. As we've said before in these videos, you know, it's uh, a matter of you get what you pay for. And this, wow, seriously, if you get a chance to get one of the Mumtaz curries, give them a go, they're amazing. I mean, Bradford Curry is a legendary anyway. Throughout the UK, everyone knows the Bradford Curry is king. I'm quite sure the people in Birmingham would disagree with that. But the Bradford Curry is king. Hmm. That lamb is cooked to absolute perfection. It really is. Beautiful, beautiful meal. If I go over again and they have any other lamb products, I'll definitely give them a go. Without a doubt. I may even give the chicken ones a go, but as I say, I'm not keen on chicken. It does nothing for me, really. I used to really enjoy it, but these days it just seems to have lost its flavour. And its texture just doesn't seem right anymore. So yeah, the Mumtaz Pan House or the Mumtaz Curry section. Morrison's it's in the freezers, well in the refrigerated part. And that's it guys. Straight up four pound. And it's worth every single penny. I can guarantee 
but you will not be disappointed with that. Well done Mumtaz and well done Morrisons for stopping them. Without any shadow of a doubt I will give this 10 out of 10 all day long. That has to be one of the nicest ready-made curries I have had for a long long time. I've said it many times before I live in Earls Eaton which is a suburb of Dewsbury and Dewsbury has a huge Asian population and there are lots of different takeaways and I have to be honest I have not found one that are anywhere near half decent if anybody knows of one or two or three even that they could recommend I'd love to have a go but we have had some atrocious meals here and I mean atrocious meals um, the last one we got came from um, I believe it was called the Sharma it was delivered from Hickman Wyke and it was £26 and it ended up in the bin as I did the last one we got from Lala's in Batley that was absolutely terrible as well I don't know what it is but if you do know of one please let me know right on that note folks if you've enjoyed what you've seen a fat old man eating a curry click the like button feel free to leave a comment in the box below um, and if you do know of any curry houses that are acceptable put it in that box hit the bell icon for any future uploads and above all please feel free to subscribe to the channel it helps it grow we become part of that bigger family and as I keep saying every time I've met so many nice people through doing YouTube and it's lovely and to each and every one of you I love you all hand on heart you mean the world to me thank you so much again for watching me and namaste guys and girls and may your God go with you.